We're on our morning walk. This is something Yvonne usually does, but since she's out of town, the responsibility falls on me. Right, Chloe? So we have a little round here that we walk and it's about a mile. Chloe gets this uh, twice a day, mornings and evenings, and that keeps her satisfied, along with all the time on the property, of course. Once we get back, I have to go out to the greenhouse, and today's a watering day. Hopefully her plants will survive. I just arrived at uh, Tucson Glass and Mirror. I'm picking up the 20 pieces of glass that I ordered for the clear story. And let's hope they're ready. They're supposed to be. So this is the pickup area. All the cut pieces. And they do a lot of thing, things, it appears. Probably a large standing mirror that's a really cool frame. And there they are. All cut to the right size, I hope. Anyways, these guys gave me a great price, and it's been real good customer service, very friendly. And, uh, yeah, if you're in Tucson and you need glass, this will be the place to be. That's okay. That's Nick. Nick. Nick will be the guy to ask for. So this place offers great service for glass. Unfortunately, they don't sell windows, so they don't have window accessories. And one of the viewers on our last video said what I need is to repair that big picture window is a gla glazing strip. This is a vinyl glazing strip. I watched a few videos how to remove it. It was pretty easy to get out. And now I'm looking for a replacement. Uh, they sent me to, they're going to send me to a couple places to check it out. And if I can't find it, Nick actually said you might want to just get some DAP caulk and tape off the area and tool it in and kind of dummy it up. Anyways, I'm going to see if I can find the original piece. If not, I'll make something work. I'm inside Window Depot in Tucson, and I never, I never knew a place like this even existed. Had I known, I probably would have come here for my windows instead of Lowe's. I mean, they have a huge selection. I mean, just check out all these windows. Now, I haven't looked at the prices to make sure that they're competitive, but let's see if we can find something that looks familiar. That's about the same size as the two. This is about the same size as the two windows flanking our picture window. And if I'm seeing it correctly, $121.19. With screen. Damn. I also saw outside they had granite, like pre made granite countertops. There's some more quartz countertops. What is that? It's a white marble. $349 for that big piece. They got doors, they got everything. Do you guys have trim like this? I'm sorry to interrupt. Do you have trim like this? Is it vinyl trim? Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you where it's at. Awesome. So not only do they have a huge selection, but look, they're ready to help too. What was that? How you doing today? Doing well. How about yourself? I never even knew this place existed. I mean, I hate to say it. I bought windows at Lowe's. Had I known. Yeah, but had I known. Not only that, but look at the selection of stuff you've got. This is our vinyl trim right Okay. So check this out. It's a 20-foot piece. And if I'm not mistaken, if I read the price tag right, it should be about 10 bucks. <laughs> Un unbelievable. And it's the exact replacement for what I was looking for. Sometimes you get lucky. So not only do they have windows, doors, 
They also have kitchen cabinets. I'm standing in the way. Sorry about that. But check it out. They got sinks. And they have apron farmhouse sinks. Because I know Yvonne wants one of those. Of course, 395 bucks is probably a very fair price. But, whew, man, 400 bucks. Well, she'll make that decision, not me. Yeah, I know it's kind of a generic granite for 150 bucks for a 108 inch piece with backsplash. How do you beat that? Check it out, these nice square edged black pearl, 269 bucks. I'll tell you what, we'll be back. I just got back to the job site with the glass and it was an uneventful trip home i was a little concerned about having it all stacked up in the back of the truck it was on a piece of carpet but we made it home in one piece and the big find of course was this piece of trim 20 feet long 10 bucks and i'll be able to replace the entire here you can see a piece of it hanging there on the outside that entire um, glazing strip. I have enough to do with the entire window if I want to. We'll see how easy it goes. You know, I've always wanted a food saver or a seal a meal or one of these vacuum sealers. And uh, we, as you can see, we have a little bit of grains that we like to store just in case of emergencies. So I was watching some videos about uh, food savers and a guy showed a review on YouTube of this one right here. It's the VS1150 from Food Saver. And he really liked it, so I thought, I'll follow the link and I'll check it out on Amazon. It was $78 or $79. And I thought, that's a little rich for my blood for what this is. And then I looked down below and there was a used, like new, in original packaging for 26 bucks, And it included... It included a uh, box of 44 bags a roll of bags that you can make the, to uh, individual lengths, as well as another stack of 10 larger um, larger bags. Anyways, so I thought for 26 bucks, it uh, was sold through the Amazon warehouse, so it did have free returns in case we didn't like it, or I didn't like it. It's fantastic. It works great, and I'm looking for stuff to seal. But anyways, this is going to allow us to store food a lot longer without having to worry about whether it's going to get bugs in it or whatever. So just a little precaution. I thought for 26 bucks, it's not a bad idea. Before I get started pulling out that glazing trim, I just want to show you something. Look at the shadow that's being thrown by our three foot overhang. It's about one o'clock right now. And the passive solar design is going to work out beautifully. With the sun up in the sky like it is now that it's getting warmer, the whole southern side of the house is completely in shade, which will help keep it nice and cool inside. So now I'm just going to try to get the rest of this trim out. morning. So yesterday you saw me over at uh, Window Depot 
checking out the great products they have and picking up some vinyl trim so I could fix that picture window. And I came back all excited about uh, getting that picture window repaired. And I started uh, removing the old trim after watching several videos on YouTube. And it was going real well. And that one section that was caught up behind the glass pane, or I should say double pane, was really hard to get out. And I took a pair of needle nose pliers just to get a little better grip on it. And I was slowly op pulling it out almost like an old fashioned can opener. Kind of just slowly prying it out until the edge of the, until the pliers hit the edge of the glass and cracked it. Put it this way, I'm not going to be publishing that video. because the foul language out of my mouth, I'm not too proud of it. I just couldn't believe it was happening. So I told Yvonne about it. I texted her, let her know what happened. And then I called the place where I bought the, uh, the panes of glass and asked them, you know, what it would cost to get a replacement pane. And he explained to me that that dual pane glass has a metal frame in the middle, and two panes of glass are siliconed to that metal frame. So really only one pane of glass on our window cracked. And I thought, well, I'll just be able to replace that one side. And then he explained to me that uh, it's not just as easy as that, even though there are videos on YouTube saying it isn't that difficult. But anyways, so... He suggested just getting a whole new double pane, and he'd have to special order it, and it would take about three weeks, and run $235. So I thanked him for the information, and I decided to uh, call Lowe's, where we got our other windows, and see if what it would cost to get a matching uh, picture window. And I know that we had we had gotten a price for that when we placed our original order, and I seem to recall it being around 350 to $400. But I wanted to verify that. And I just couldn't get through to anybody at Millwork in, at Lowe's. So out of frustra I was very frustrated by this point in time. And I decided to call Window Depot, the place where I got the trim. I mean, they had such a great selection. So they have no picture windows in stock. And he explained, the guy on the phone, real nice, you know, he said, it would be a special order and it would be four weeks. And I said, well, can you give me a price? He said, sure, no problem. I told him the size I needed. He, uh, I told him I, I wanted a vinyl window with a, uh, with a flange, with a nailing flange. And he said, 196 I said, well, $196? He said, yeah. And I said, well, okay, plus tax. He said, no, that's out the door. I couldn't believe it. So $50 cheaper than the replacement uh, double pane from the window store, the glass store. And uh, it would be a brand new window. And it would be then the, this is the matching, uh, the matching size. One thing I never really told you was that uh, one thing I never mentioned was that the, um, the the picture window is actually one inch shorter than the two flanking windows and it always bothered me it was one of those things I always saw it I didn't know if anybody else would see it but it bugged me so this would be an opportunity now to have the a brand new window the proper size and uh, 200 bucks. I told Yvonne about it, and she said that uh, she understood the situation, 
I shouldn't feel bad about cracking the window. And just order it. And the worst part about it, the whole thing, is it's going to be four weeks. But I'm going to leave the old window in until the new window's here. And as long as we can get it changed out before the heavy monsoon season starts, it'll be all good. So that was my... That was my big escapade. I'm on a walk with Chloe right now, and it's about 7 o'clock in the morning. It's a beautiful day. I'm heading down to Lowe's to pick up our bathroom window. It's finally here. And uh, just out of curiosity, I will get a price quote from them for the picture window, just because it would be exactly the same in terms of uh, style and design. But I don't think they can come anywhere close to 196 out the door. Anyways, I'm going to finish up this walk and head down the Lowe's. It was a long time coming, three weeks for this little window, and uh, now it's time to get it installed. You can also see I've got some more one by two trim. And check this out how beautiful this wood is. Not free, straight as an arrow, and I don't understand it because it was only 20 cents more per length than the stuff that I used when I put the first, uh, the, the first framing in up in the clear story. They called this one by two white wood. And I don't even know what this is called. Let me see. I don't even know if there's a name on there. Product of Canada. That's all I can tell you. All I know is, man, it was beautiful. I didn't even have to sift through it. The other stuff I had, this that first batch that I got took me probably 20 minutes to sift through and find 20 pieces. Here I've got 25 pieces. I just grabbed them all off the rack. No problem. Each one was as nice as the next. For 20 cents more per length, per 8-foot length. It's crazy. I don't know if you were able to see that or not, but I tried applying that top strip of, ins of insulating tape, thermal tape, and I had these gloves on that have this rubbery type, yeah, palm surface to them, and I touched that tape with this. I could not get it off this glove. I literally had to take the gloves off to get it off the glove. It was crazy how sticky that was. Okay, I'm going to finish this video by proudly displaying my biggest blunder. And there it is right here. Yesterday when that occurred, it was a crack about down to here. And of course, overnight it has run the entire length. So I went to Lowe's this morning and I picked up the uh, bathroom window that you just saw me install. And I asked him for a quote to get a picture window. And they're having a sale. Uh, an extra 15% off of, cu of custom order windows. And it made the total for this size 
uh, $287 plus tax. And that was low E, dual pain, basically everything I would need. And it was still $100 more than Window Depot. And so I got the revised quote from Window Depot, just making sure everything was, you know, everything was clear and I was gonna, we were going to be getting the window that we needed. And it was, it's going to be double pane, low E, argon gas. I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not, but it's in there. And it's $197, including tax. So I placed the order. In order to install this new window that we just ordered, I'm going to have to revise this bucking a little bit because this window from top to bottom is one inch shorter than the windows flanking it. It turns out 47 and a half inches tall is a standard window size. This is 46 and a half inches tall. So that one inch, believe it or not, I always saw it, it always bothered me. So what I'm gonna have to do is take this window out when the time comes, take this window out and just move this header up one inch. It's not a big deal, I'll get it done. Guys, thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and to ring that bell. Thanks a lot. We'll catch you in the next video. I just want to say a quick word about our subscribers and our viewers. You guys really have thoughtful comments that are thought-provoking as well. There were a lot of responses regarding the two-toned look of our clear story, and most people like the two-toned look. Some people said it might be better to have the wood painted as opposed to using a polyurethane for longevity. I'm not sure about that. I've used polyurethane on our tool shed, it is holding up remarkably well. There's no, there's no peeling on it. It really still looks very good. So I wasn't concerned with the overall finish or the longevity of it. And then the final comment that I read this morning said, you might want to consider how it's going to look when the house is cobbed and the fact that you have white windows. And that just somehow really clicked with me. And I promised the person I would go out and take another look at it. And I did this morning and I realized if I did use polyurethane, we would have four different colored components on that one side of the house. And that was just going to be too busy. So I still like the idea of two-toned, the thought of painting it for longevity also. Okay. I, I, I'm on board with that, but I thought, what color would I use? Another person said, maybe just a lighter color brown. And then I looked up and I realized our ridge flashing is this color right here. It runs the entire width of the house and hang down, hangs down six inches. Why not pick that color up? So I took a piece of this to the hardware store and had them match it with paint. So now the inner frames on the clear story will match the ridge flashing that is directly above it. It prevents us from using too many different tones and too many different colors, and it also then ties in the two units together.